It's dangerous under the bridge at night. Jeanette Janice Moore keeps dry under the 30th Street Bridge. I'm 69. I've been homeless for about 10 years. Her dogs, Sweetie and Honey, you be good, serving as her protectors. She gets up at night and confronts people who walk up and try to say something. Life on the streets isn't easy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Over at Loaves and Fishes, the tales of survival are everywhere. Desiree Carter says she is lucky to be alive after a man tried to sneak into her tent. If he's interested in a female and he likes a lot of females, he'll go after that one and he will go. He just knows it's not an option for him. Uh, I just screamed and, 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 and um, you know, I, I ran for my life. And I called the cops. Desiree says she is still hopeful she will make it off the streets, but some never get that chance. They die here. Deaths among Sacramento's homeless population has nearly doubled. In 2002, 36 homeless people died in the city. Those numbers stayed rather consistent over the years, peaking at 61 in 2011. But as of December the 5th, the number of homeless deaths in the city has jumped to 110. It will decrease a person's natural life expectancy, living outside in the elements. Um, you know, access to food, um, health conditions, pre-existing health conditions that oftentimes cause the homelessness in the first place are exasperated by living outside in inclement weather. Why the major increase is still not known, but the leading cause of death is alcohol and drug abuse, followed by injury and heart disease. It could happen daily, if not a couple times a day, when we have to call 911 because a guest just had a seizure or a heart attack. It's something that we see, something to deal with on a personal basis.